So I'm firstly going to start by priming my face. And by priming, I mean skincare, which is what Clarence is, uh, is known for. So I'm going to be using the Extra Firming Energy. Love this. This is my brand new one. It's literally the first time I've opened it up. My other one is finished. Um, so I'm just going to place my skincare. Now, I really like this, this particular one. Um, I'm super active. This is extra firming energy. So I'm 40 years old. I'm really, really active in terms of what my career is, what my job is. I am in fitness. So the fact that it even has energy in it just speaks volumes to me. Um, and it's also, I'm 40, so gravity is hitting. I need a little bit of extra firmness. Um, and I need a little bit more extra hydration. I do tend to have a little bit of a T-zone. Um, but generally speaking, I am quite dry. So I'm putting it all the way down my neck. Right. To make sure that I get enough underneath my eyes because there's nothing worse than putting on concealer and uh, and it looks too dry under the eyes. So I need to make sure that I've hydrated enough underneath the eyes. Right. Next up, I am going to be using the Instant Poreless. I absolutely love this. Now what this does is it actually helps put like a thin sheath over your pores. Particularly any of you that have an oily T-zone or have bigger pores this is going to be your baby. So it's almost like a, like, it's not jelly, um, it's creamy, but it actually just puts a, like a light sheath over the pores so that when you apply your foundation, it doesn't look porous, if you want to call it that. There's nothing worse than seeing someone that has uh, their foundation on and you can actually see the big pores, you know, amongst the foundation. So this is really, really lovely. It's part of skin prep and I generally place it around my nose area. And I also like to put it a little bit over here. Here we go. A little bit more. And then obviously down here, I had a little bit of sun damage in my youth. And so the pores around here do tend to get a little bit bigger. So here we go. So now that is my skin prep completed.